let a b c a subset of a universal set s if a union b equal to a union c and a intersection b equal to a intersection c then prove that b equal to c now we know to show b equal to c we have to show that b subset of c and c subset of b so first we show b subset of c let x belongs to b b arbitrary now this implies obviously here we can write this as x belongs to a union b because a union b equal to x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b now here x belongs to b so obviously x belongs to a union b now this implies x belongs to we have a union b equal to a union c so this will be a union c obviously by given condition now this implies x belongs to a or x belongs to c now if x belongs to c then we have b subset of c now if x belongs to a because we start with x belongs to b and we have x belongs to a or x belongs to b so if x belongs to c then b subset of c if x belongs to a then we start from here so obviously x belongs to both a and b so x belongs to a intersection b this implies x belongs to a intersection c by given condition now this implies x belongs to a and x belongs to c so if x belongs to a we have x belongs to a and x belongs to c so obviously x belongs to b implies x belongs to c therefore x belongs to b implies x belongs to c therefore b subset of c we name it 1 because we have two option either x belongs to a or x belongs to c if x belongs to c we prove that b subset of c if x belongs to a, we also prove that b subset of c we name it 2 now from 1 and 2 we see that b subset of c now to prove c subset of b let y belongs to c b arbitrary this implies obviously y belongs to a union c because y belongs to c so obviously y belongs to union c this implies y belongs to a union b by given condition now this implies y belongs to a or y belongs to b so if y belongs to b then c subset of b we name it 3 and if y belongs to a then we start with y belongs to c so if y belongs to a then y belongs to both a and c that is y belongs to a intersection c this implies y belongs to now a intersection c equal to a intersection b so this implies y belongs to a intersection b by given condition so this implies y belongs to a and y belongs to b so if y belongs to a then we have y belongs to a and y belongs to b so obviously y belongs to c implies y belongs to b therefore page turn over therefore y belongs to c implies y belongs to b therefore c subset of b we name it 4 so 
if y belongs to c then we have two option y belongs to a or y belongs to b if y belongs to b then c subset of b if y belongs to a we also prove that c subset of b so from 1 2 3 and 4 we have therefore from 1 2 3 and 4 we have b equal to c alternatively we can show that b equal to c we know b equal to b intersection a union b suppose this is a this is b now a union b intersection b is obviously b this is by this is known as absorptive law by absorptive law now this equal to we can apply this here b intersection we know a union b equal to a union c by given condition now this equal to b intersection now we apply here distributive law so this will be b intersection a union b intersection c by distributive law now this equal to now we apply commutative so it will be a intersection b union this is same suppose b intersection c now this is equal to by commutative law now again we know a intersection b is a intersection c by given condition by given condition now this equal to now again we apply distributive so this will be a union b intersection c so this will be a union b intersection c by distributive law now this equal to again we know a union b means a union c by given condition now this equal to now we use absorptive law suppose this is we know this will be c because a union c intersection c is obviously c suppose this a union c and a union c intersection c is obviously c so we proved b equal to c so if a union b equal to a union c and a intersection b equal to a intersection c then b equal to c proved if you like this video please share subscribe and comment